Welcome to my studio. Today I will show you how to install LaTeX extension to Visual Studio Code on Microsoft Windows 10 operating system. I will try to install LaTeX distribution. In order to do that I entered GitHub web page of LaTeX workshop extension to Visual Studio Code and here I can find different ways of installation. Personally I like at most MicTech, so I will try that one. Step 1. MicTech installation. Link in this video description. Okay. Download Windows. One minute later. When download is complete I just run the installation package. After a short moment, installer window appears. I accept the mic tech copyright conditions, click next. Install only for me, for the current user. I accept the default proposed folder. For that purpose, preferred paper, I will leave A4. Install missing packages on the fly, ask me first. I click next, start, approximately 4 minutes and 30 seconds later. Ok, the main task is being executed, next, check for updates now, close, ok. So now I go back, back again. Step 2. Download and install Perl. And I install Perl. Approximately 1 minute 35 seconds later. OK, after downloading, I s start this file, after a short moment installation window appears, accept the terms of license agreement, click next, actually I will change the f installation folder. to my personal folder and here I will create a new folder Next, ready to install Strawberry Pearl 64 bit. Install. Now, the question about acknowledging of privileges, usually administrator privileges. I click yes. Approximately 3 minutes 45 seconds later. Okay, now when the installation is completed, I just click finish button. In a system tray, I have found MicTech console to see that there are available 118 updates of the packages. So I click update now. Approximately 3 minutes 18 seconds later. OK, I get the following warning. Mic Tech console needs to be closed. I click OK. And after 20 minutes, all prerequisites to install 
LaTeX in uh, Visual Studio Code are met. Step 3. Run Visual Studio Code, configure dedicated profile, install LaTeX Workshop extension. I run Visual Studio Code and create a dedicated profile. I click into bottom left icon and from the opening menu I choose profile and from the submenu profiles here I click the button new profile as a name I choose LaTeX I click the unique icon for example that one and I select keyboard shortcuts in the column source I choose default finally I click the create button now for time being I will use this profile for current window I close the profiles tab press ctrl J to get into the terminal you should be ready in a moment that's fine and now I will create new folder dedicated for attack Enter it. And copy it into the clipboard. Copy new created. Now I close the terminal. Enter the profile settings again and I add content of the clipboard to the folder field I click add folder button now I close the profile tab again from the menu of the Visual Studio Code now I select command open folder and in the folder field I copy again the content of the clipboard which is full path to newly created folder I click select folder and now the newly created profile was applied to this newly created folder I close the welcome tab and now from the extensions menu, uh, left side, I collapse popular and recommended proposals of extensions and enter LaTeX and choose the second one, LaTeX Workshop and click install. it takes a while and it is finally ready so I close the tab switch into the Explorer tab and create first file first tag now I search for a test data and place the test, test data into the editor window I save it collapse the explorer 
menu and now what is new is this LaTeX icon I will collapse minimap and in the top bar uh, I have two additional icons now build LaTeX project as well as view LaTeX PDF file so I click at first into first icon build LaTeX pro project Hmm, and something went wrong. Perhaps I need only to restart Visual Studio Code. So I close it and run it again. Let's try again. This time new window appears, package installation. I just press install and uh, Windows security stopped installation. I disabled um, local antivirus system and try to install it again and it works now that concludes this video thank you for your time and watching now please give a, a thumb up to this video and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have found it useful thank you bye